She belongs to the streets. Uh, I'm actually non-binary, so it's they. My apologies. They belong to the street. Where do you pee? I usually just hold it. I'm not even going to lie to you. No. That is legit the same Tupperware I give my five-year-old daughter for school every day. What are you saying? Say, I, say, say it again. Tupperware? Say it again. Slow. Tupperware? Slow. Very slow. Say, first, say the first syllable. Tub. Wrong. <laughs> what do you mean wrong? I thought... You're very mature for your age. Um, you're a, um, you're an old soul. These phrases are adults' way of stating that your childhood was stolen from you through trauma. And as you morphed into the kid nobody had to worry about, you should have been running, playing, jumping, having fun. And I'm so sorry. Hello, and welcome to Put a Finger Down, non-binary edition. Let's get this started. Put a finger down if you either have dyed hair or a mullet. Because you probably do. Put a finger down if you have an uncommon name, such as, a, I don't know, twig, uh, stick, leaf, bee. You know, you know, what I, you know what I mean. Put a finger down if you own a button-up of any kind. Put a finger down if you own a flannel of any kind. Also, put a finger down if you own any kind of beanie. Because, again, you probably do. This is random, but put a finger down if you follow some kind of frog blog or, like, a frog Facebook group, such as frog spotting. Because I feel like that's a very non-binary thing. Put a finger down if you're into cottagecore or goblincore. Lastly, put a finger down if you either have piercings and tattoos or you want piercings and tattoos. Thank you. Um, hi, this is just a video I wish someone made for me about binders and how to put them on and take them off. So here's the binder. This is the front. No stretch. This is gz 2 b No stretch. Back. Stretch. So the way you put it on, front facing away, put your arms in the arm sleeves. You're going to dive in, okay? Get it like this. Take your glasses off. Put them on the ground. Over the head. Now you're going to reach behind and unroll this, unroll that, and then just pull it over, stick your hand in through the top, pull up those titties, flat. There you go. I'm running out of time. I'll do something on how to take it off in a bit. Flat! Yeah. Well, Drew, I have a huge problem with this dish. It's that you haven't made it for me sooner. Thank you, Chef. Because if you had, Drew, then I would know how good you are at cooking food that's bad. I'm sorry, Chef. And when I say bad, I mean Michael Jackson bad. Thank you, Chef. You know how he looked really, really bad at the end of his life? Chef, I'm sorry. I don't know if you like the dish or not. You don't know if I like the dish or not? Well, let's put it this way. Pat your f***ing knives, get out, you're off the show. Sorry, Sharon. Because you should be working in the finest restaurant in the world. Thank you, Sharon. Just not any world that I live in. Part three of me giving you non-binary names. I'm gonna go really fast because there's gonna be a list of names that fit a theme. First, names that are letters Z, K, D, B, J, T, Q. Any weather, like rain, fog, mist, dreary, drizzle, overcast, storm. There's weird color names like crimson, red, alabaster, blue, red, coral, olive, gray. Can't forget Greek or Roman gods, Atlas, Apollo, Hades, Ares, Demeter, Artemis. Then there's animal names like doe, spider, dino, bear, fennec, bug, tiger, crow, trout, jackal, owl. Then there's feeling or emotion names, riot, feral, serenity, awe, sorrow. Number names, 75980. Here's some nature names, clover, petal, leaf, geode, moss, cloud, mud, creek, juniper, herb. Space themed, any planet name, Pluto, star, comet, asteroid, shuttle, moon. 
Days of the week are months. Saturday, Tuesday, December, October, August. Finally, the fire category. Pyro, cinder, coal, soot, ash, smoke, nova, fl-